Have you ever pondered the current state of artificial intelligence control structures? At present, the control structures of AI systems are predominantly hierarchical. Picture a pyramid where the power and decision-making abilities are concentrated at the top, while the lower levels have more limited roles. In this system, a single entity, or a small group of entities, make decisions that ripple through the layers below. These decisions can dictate everything from the objectives an AI should pursue, to the data it uses, to the actions it takes. This concentration of authority can streamline decision-making processes, but it also comes with its own set of challenges. For instance, the decisions made at the top can be influenced by the biases of the decision-makers, leading to AI systems that reflect these biases. If an AI system, for example, is trained on data that is biased, it can inadvertently perpetuate or exacerbate these biases, leading to skewed results and unfair outcomes. Furthermore, this concentration of power can also lead to misuse. The potential for AI to be used in harmful ways, either through negligence or malicious intent, is a real concern. With power concentrated in the hands of a few, there's a risk that AI technologies could be used in ways that harm individuals or society. Finally, the hierarchical structure of AI control limits the access of broader populations to AI technologies. It's like a locked door where only a select few hold the keys. This can lead to a digital divide where only a small portion of the population can reap the benefits of AI, while the rest are left behind. So we find ourselves at a crossroads, questioning the status quo. Is this top-down approach the best we can do? Or could there be a more effective and equitable alternative? As we delve deeper into this discussion, let's keep these questions in mind, for they will guide us towards understanding and perhaps even reshaping the future of AI control structures. Capitalism, as we know it, thrives on adaptability and competition. Can we find parallels in AI? Let's take a moment to think about the economic system that has shaped our modern world. Capitalism. Capitalism is an economic system where private entities own the factors of production. It's a system that thrives on adaptability and competition. Businesses compete with one another, adapt to changing market conditions, and constantly innovate to stay ahead. This competition prevents any single entity from gaining too much power and ensures that resources are allocated efficiently. Now, let's draw a parallel to AI control structures. Just like in capitalism, we don't want a single entity to hold all the power. We need a distributed system where multiple entities have control, creating a balance of power. This distribution prevents any one entity from monopolizing AI technology and ensures that it's accessible to a broader population. But let's not forget about adaptability. Capitalism is not a rigid system. It's dynamic and evolves with the changing needs of society. Similarly, our approach to AI control must be adaptable. As our understanding of AI grows and as technology advances, our control structures must evolve too. We need to be able to adopt new strategies, incorporate new ideas, and keep improving. Competition, a central principle of capitalism, drives innovation and progress. In the realm of AI, competition can play a similar role. With a distributed control structure, different entities can develop and contribute their unique approaches to AI. This competition can lead to the development of more robust, more efficient, and more innovative AI technologies. So, just as capitalism encourages competition and adaptability, our approach to AI control should do the same. A distributed, adaptable AI control structure can ensure that power is not concentrated, that AI technology is accessible to a wider population, and that we keep pushing the boundaries of what AI can do. Just as capitalism adapts and evolves, so too must our approach to AI control. Imagine a world where AI control is more distributed, more democratic. This isn't a far-off sci-fi dream, but a very real possibility that could revolutionize the way we interact with technology. A distributed AI control structure is like a digital ecosystem, where a variety of AI systems coexist, each with its own unique features and capabilities. Instead of a single AI being in charge, countless AIs contribute to decision-making processes, each offering its own unique perspective. This system mirrors the adaptability and dynamism that we see in capitalism. Just as capitalism encourages competition and diversity, a distributed AI control structure would allow for a multiplicity of ideas and approaches. This could lead to increased innovation, as different AIs compete to provide the best solutions. 
Moreover, a distributed control structure could democratize access to AI technologies. Just as capitalism has opened up markets and opportunities for a broader population, a distributed AI control system could ensure that more people have the opportunity to utilize and benefit from AI. It is not just about access and diversity though. A distributed AI control structure also brings with it a level of fault tolerance. In a centralized system, if the central AI fails, the whole system goes down. But in a distributed system, if one AI fails, others can step in to fill the gap. This makes the system as a whole more resilient and reliable. So why is this important? Well, as AI becomes more integrated into our daily lives, it's crucial that we have a system that is robust, adaptable, and accessible to all. A distributed AI control structure could provide this, fostering an environment of innovation and inclusivity. A distributed AI control structure could bring about a new era of innovation and access, much like capitalism has done for our economy. As we continue to develop and integrate AI into our world, it's worth considering how a distributed control structure could shape our future. Fault tolerance, a key feature in any robust system. But what does it mean for AI? Fault tolerance is the property that enables a system to continue operating properly in the event of the failure of some of its components. In our everyday lives, we see examples of this all the time. Imagine you're driving your car and one of the tires goes flat. You don't just abandon the car on the side of the road, right? Instead, you switch to the spare tire and continue on your journey. That's a simple example of fault tolerance. In the realm of AI, fault tolerance takes on a critical role. AI systems are incredibly complex, and they're only getting more intricate as technology advances. These systems are made up of countless components, and just like with our car, if one component fails, we don't want the entire system to break down. A fault-tolerant AI system is designed to handle these component failures gracefully, ensuring the system continues to function and provide value. So, how do we build fault tolerance into our AI systems? This is where the concept of a distributed control structure comes into play. In a distributed control structure, control isn't concentrated in a single point, but rather spread out across multiple points. This means that if one component fails, there are other components ready to take up the slack, just like the spare tire in our car analogy. This approach draws parallels to the resilience of capitalist systems. In a capitalist economy, power and resources are not concentrated in a single entity, but are distributed among multiple players. This distribution allows the system to be adaptable and resilient in the face of challenges and changes. Fault tolerance in AI isn't just about preventing system failures. It's about creating a resilient structure that can adapt and evolve, much like the adaptability seen in capitalist systems. By distributing control, we can build AI systems that are not only more robust and reliable, but also more democratic and accessible. Fault tolerance is not just about preventing failures, it's about building a resilient AI control structure that can adapt and evolve. Change begins with you and me. Together we can shape the future of AI. We've explored the current state of AI control structures, the adaptability of capitalism, the case for a distributed AI control structure, and the importance of fault tolerance. Now it's time to examine how we can be the change we want to see. It's not enough to simply understand these concepts. We must also take action. The first step is to advocate for a more distributed and fault tolerant AI control structure. This involves raising awareness about the benefits of this approach and the risks of the current hierarchical control structures. But how can we do this? One way is by supporting research in this field. Many universities and research institutions are already studying alternatives to traditional AI control structures. By donating to these institutions or even just sharing their work on social media, we can help to advance their cause. Policy change is another critical element. Reach out to your local representatives and express your support for legislation that encourages a more distributed and fault-tolerant AI control structure. Remember, the voices of constituents have a powerful influence on the decisions of lawmakers. Finally, we can vote with our wallets. Support companies that are committed to this new approach. Whether they're startups developing innovative AI technologies or established companies shifting their strategies, these organizations are on the front lines of change. By choosing to purchase their products or services, we're not just supporting their work, we're also sending a clear message to the market that we value an AI future that is accessible, equitable, and resilient. 
Our actions, big or small, can make a difference. We're not just passive observers in the development of AI, we're active participants with the power to shape its future. The future of AI is in our hands. Let's advocate for a more distributed and fault-tolerant AI control structure and shape a future where AI benefits us all.